Hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. My name is Ruto Solo from Kerbal.com and in today's video I'm going to show you two ways that you can do to fill down rows when the values have shifted. Let's get started. Looking forward to this. Okay, so let me show you example one. Example one is like this. We have two columns. We have value one, two, three, four, and then A, B, C, D. So we want to fill down for each A, B, C group. And here value one, value two is no problem. And as you see, value three starts on B and value four starts on D, which makes things difficult for us. Because if we just go in here and do fill down, you see that this A, B, C, this should be value four and this value three and four. So that does not work. How do we do it? This is where the magic happens. What we're going to do is to add a custom column. And this is the logic that we're going to have. What we want to do is block column A on each group. So it doesn't get filled down and it stops from being filled down from the above value. So we say if column, uh, column 2 is equal A, and that is text. That means if we're in the first line of the block, and column two, column one is empty. That means there is no value there. That means if the column has shifted, meaning that on column A or on row A, there's no value on column one, then write something. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Else, write whatever value is in column one. Okay. So as you can see here, now we have value one, value two. Now for the first of the second block, we have one and value three. And then for the second one, we have one and value four. And so how does that help? Watch the magic happen. What we're going to do now is we're going to fill down. And once we fill down, you see that value two stops what we want it. It's just not propagating to B and the same with value three. It just stops there. Now, the only thing that we have left is these ones. This should be value three. And this should be value four. So what power query step can we actually take to fill up? Obviously, to fill up or down, you need to have nulls. So we need to replace this one. Uh, why cannot replace? Do, do replace with nulls in order to be able to fill up. So now we have blank values there. And now that we have blank values, we can just do fill up. Ta-da! <laughs> How cool is that? And then you can just get rid of these. You don't need it anymore. So now you see A, B, if spelled correctly. How cool is that? Okay, I'm going to show you another example, but this time is the other way around. Let me show you. So what I have here is value one and value two. They're in the correct place, but the actual values are all over the place. So for example here, Column one is on row two, column three is on row one, column four is... We just want to have one row for value one, one row for value two. So how do you do that? This is a cool, 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 cool way. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is actually fill down in there because those are correct. So fill down. So now we have captured all the value ones and all the value twos. The next thing we're going to do is to go to transform and, and pivot other columns. Right, so now we have all the values for value one, all the values for value two, and its respective column. And now that I've done that, I'm going to pivot them back. <laughs> this is super cool. And then don't aggregate. Ta-da! How cool is this? Now we've got rid of all the nulls, and we have the fill down properly. So, yeah, I hope this helps you. I'm doing a lot of Power Query stuff right now and I'm really loving it. So every time I find anything cool, that's always I'll show you.